Hey, welcome back, baby. Welcome back to another episode of oh, the Bandy Yards, bro. The podcast for the hood. From the hood, baby. Come on now, bro. You know it's Jake Fire. Hey, she also tells us baby, bro. Gotta get your notepads yeah. out, bro. We've got an IBF Cruiserweight World Champion, bro. Do you know the like, levels, bro? It's nuts, bro. Hey, we're gonna dig deep into his mindset. Make sure you guys get ready, yeah? Right, let's in, baby. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. <laughs> I just started her, didn't show no love. Back then they used to throw dirt. Team when it got straight out the mud. Not a killer before my blood. Hey, man, welcome back to so another episode yeah, of Bendy Yarns, bro. Day. The only podcast for the hood. From the hood, baby. No, it's J5. Hey, she also told Sana. Guys, man, get your notepads out for Damn. this guest, man. We have a world level athlete, bro. World class athlete, bro. Us, bro. Everyone, give a warm welcome for our soul. Job. Welcome, welcome, bro. Welcome. <laughs> welcome. Bro. welcome. Bro. This is some nice bouts you got here. Hundred, hundred, hundred. These some real nice. Bro, because uh, you're, you're on camp, yeah? Camp, so, yeah. So, so, so you're not drinking. You're not drinking today. <laughs> so, so, yeah. so for exchange of the drinks. Instead of taking a shot, if you get this, if you if you can't get this right, we'll give you a body shot. Amu or Nox? Three, two. I'd like to watch him fight. Eh? <laughs> 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 body shot, baby. <laughs> 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 three, 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 on, bro. bro, guys, if you need a gym in surface, bro, hit up dry up tires, dude, bro. This is proper, proper, bro. Levels, bro. <laughs> yeah, this is the downstairs, though. The boxing downstairs, upstairs is all the weights and cardio. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh mad. Bro, mad. That's levels mad. to this, bro. So, did you grow up in Gold Coast or? Well, I'm a Central Coast boy. Um, oh, yeah. Country boy. Uh, nah, well, it's, it's like beaches still. Mm. It's like mm. North Sydney. Mm. Um, grew up, you know, on the Central Coast. Uh, just. Permanently moved here about two two years ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just for just for training, just for work. So. Yeah, mad, mad. What made you move to uh, make the move? Just for these gyms, the facilities, man. You know, yeah, you got to uh, you, exactly. That's yeah. it. Leveling up. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, you know, taking it more serious and making it more of a lifestyle than mm. just you know yeah, going yeah, in and out yeah. of camps. Now mm. I just live and breathe it. Uh, when did you start doing it full time? You've been doing it? Boxing? Since? Yeah, boxing. Mm. I've, I've been boxing my whole life. Yeah. You know, like oh. I had my first fight at eight years old and I've just, I've always <laughs> yeah. boxed. You know, so <laughs> yeah. I, had, I had about a, around 140 amateur fights and now I'm on the 22nd pro fight. Mm. I'm having my mm. 23rd, hopefully yeah. in June yeah. June 15 or 16. Yeah. I'm just trying mm. to finalize it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, I've been fighting my whole life, but <clears throat> you, you know, you still do things, but the, yeah, like between camps, you know, yeah. I was drinking beers with yeah, the boys yeah, 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 and yeah. You know, uh, having fun and yeah. then going mm. back in the camp. Yeah, yeah. But now it's just um fully locked full in. Full on eh? lifestyle. Yeah. You know, yeah. we live and breathe it. Yeah. And um, you know, we live the life of a world champ now. So mm. that's the bro. way, bro. Was it who who would you say pushed you into boxing? Did you have any family members mm. that boxed or yeah, my, yeah. my old man. Definitely, oh, yeah. you know. Well, I'm a fourth generation boxer on my fourth my dad's yeah. side and a in third of my blood, mom's bro. so I grew up around fighting. Yeah, I grew up around boxing. Um, but my old man was my coach growing up, so mm. he had a lot to do with it. You know, mm. he kept me yeah. on the straight and narrow. That's yeah, that's way, sick, bro. bro. That's, that's bad. Way. Like, how was how was that like upbringing coming up? Because like you, you would have to fill in big shoes, knowing that you're you're gonna become a boxer. <coughs> um, yeah, it was good. You know, it was uh, it was funny. He, he was a strict dude. You know, yeah, yeah, growing yeah. up. Someone. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone. Someone. My my old man, someone. My mum's Aussie. So oh, man. But I'm Aussie, you know, yeah. I'm born and raised Aussie. Aussie. I got that salmon <laughs> heritage. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, um, you know, I got that salmon heritage. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah, man, it was uh, it was different, mm. you know. There, there's no other kids that – it's very isolating, you know what oh, I mean? Bro, like, yeah, oh, yeah. I grew up in the gym and stuff, mm -hmm. being a young kid, training with all that, and then, you know, everyone else out hanging out, riding mm. bikes. And, yeah, you know, yeah, so I it, always had to take care of training first. Yeah, so. yeah, I Because, right. like, do you, do you feel like that was, like – do you ever feel like fuck? I wanna, I wanna be a kid. Instead, you know what I mean. Like instead of training all the time, did you feel you like know, that was stripped yeah. away? For sure. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Mm, you know, yeah. it's it, that's a normal thing. You yeah, know, yeah. To, to want that temptation that's around yeah. you all the time. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Now it's um, 
turned into beers instead of just bike yeah. rides. But, <laughs> <laughs> yes. But, yeah, but you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, bro. There's always that, that discipline, man. Mm-hmm. And that's the hardest thing to have, you know, mm. the, the training and stuff. I feel like that's sort of the easy part. Yeah, yeah. You know, everyone, everyone can train, but it's having that discipline. Yeah. Outside to, of it, yeah. 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 You know, so. That's sick, bro. Bro. That's, that's fucking sick. So, you know, are you being the champ now, mm. bro? Like, first of all, congratulations, 100, bro. 100, 100, 100. Man, that fight was crazy, bro. Mm. What, your jaw was broken in two places throughout that fight? Yeah, man. Dude, Glad. still dealing with it, bro. Still yeah, straighten up my teeth yeah, and stuff, bro. You that know? just, that, that, that sort of just shows what you're just saying, that discipline you built mm. growing up. Mm. Bro, that dull mentality, bro. Yeah. Would you say that's what got you through the fight? Mm. All those years of prep coming up to that, you mm. know, that one moment, bro, especially in boxing, bro. Yeah, bro. You had that oh, one yeah. moment, didn't give For a sure. fuck if your jaw was broken, yeah. both bro. sides, oh, you were yeah. out, there to, out there to win it. Yeah. Hey. Bro, that, that's the start of many moments. Yeah, mm. yeah. You know, that was, now I've just opened the door for mm. that world title. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, bro. and now, yeah. now there's many mo- more moments that come, mm. sort of thing, you know For what I mean? Sure, I'm bro. still... I still haven't accomplished what I'm mm. willing to you yeah. know, want to accomplish. So. Bro, Fuck, that's like, mad. Because I was, you know, mad. doing the research, bro. Names like Usyk, Buddy. Mm. Oh, who else was the other one? Oh. Sanga. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. Like Usyk and Evander Holyfield have had these belts, bro. And mm. now your names yeah. with that's those bad, names, bro. bro. Yeah. Like, do you want to be a great in boxing? 100%, man. Of course, you know? bro. You're on your and, way, bro. And that's, that's one of those things while I moved up here, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. And that's one of those things why I used to stay home and, and you mm. know, like it was like, I, I used to let that sort of fear hold me back of trying so hard and then yeah, failing, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that, imagine falling short after you've just given it everything, Ooh, you know, mm, it's a it's a frightening thing. But now I just think, mm. fuck it, you know yeah, what I mean? Hard, I'm, hard. I'm gonna do it a hundred percent. And if, if I go happens, down, I go down on my own terms, yeah, you gee, know? Yeah, and bro. I just live and breathe it, you know? It's, it's, dog, it's a lifestyle, bro. Right? Mm. Uh, you know? That's oh, tough, right. G. Would you say you were living like the champ before we became the champ? Um, bef- yeah, oh, oh, definitely. We, 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 uh, you know, we had to tick a few boxes to get these belts, man. Mm. Yeah. It was, uh, yeah. I don't know how to put it in words, you know, mm. but it was just, it, like, I, I, I say it all the time, but it's lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? It's just, you, you wake up, this, mm. you, you do it mm. till you go to sleep. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, hard. Uh, especially on your boxing, bro. Everything. Mm. Especially yeah. boxing, because like fucking, that's probably, you know, boxing and combat sport in general, bro. You're so isolated. Mm. You're so by yourself. And I, I get why you guys emphasize, emphasize, like, you guys, you know, your, your why, why you talk the way you talk, bro. Because yeah. that's such a lonely sport, bro. There would have been so many times where you would have went home and you're like, fuck. Like, you know what I mean? Hit, hit the roadblock. Or what was mm. your biggest one that you've ever hit? The roadblock? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Man. I don't know. It's just... It, it was different for me because I grew up around it. You know what yeah. I mean? I grew up in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it was just like I always missed out on everything else. You mm-hmm. know, so so it was all I ever knew. True. Mm-hmm. You know, and it, even growing up, like, like I like I, I went to the Olympic Games and stuff. Like I went there as a sixteen year old kid. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I, right. I was real young when I went there. Represented so, Australia mm-hmm. at the Olympics. So bro. doing things like that, like, I, like I, I went to the Olympics and then I went back to school. Mm. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so, 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 like, <laughs> I, I was always a kid that was just was doing this. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. There, there was all outside noise, but mm. I was going yeah. this way. Yeah. Mm. So. You had to grow up fast, eh? You would have to grow. Bro. I don't know about growing up fast. <laughs> <laughs> we know, we know. You, you got to learn how to fly in the ring fast. <laughs> <laughs> nah, fucking tell us, tell us the thoughts that were going through your head when your jaw fucking snapped, bro. Cause that like fucking yeah, you could talk to us through yeah, that. Yeah, like what like, what was the mental state? What was like your thoughts? Did you could you even clinch on your jaw? So I broke the left side uh, round three. Round three. Um, <laughs> he he cr- fuck me, bro. <laughs> he hit me with an uppercut, and I remember it just cracking, and it was just like every time I moved, it was just bad clicks and wouldn't. You knew what happened my... as soon as you felt that. Oh, click, yeah, I knew, you knew it, it was broken, broken straight yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. But um, we just gotta try not to get hit there again, yeah, you know? Yeah, we just yeah, uh, yeah. back to the corner. I didn't say nothing to my corner. Mm. Just tried to sort of stay relaxed and mm. focus on the fight. Yep, yep, yep. Um, you know, just box smart, move. Mm. And then, um, yeah, I think just because I couldn't bite it up into the mouth guard, that's how the other side went as well. Cause oh. it was just sort of loose, but. Okay. You know? Cause it was just like it hanging. So yeah. that would've given it leverage to fight. Yeah. But, oh God. Fucking hell bro. Fuck that, bro. Did losing ever come to your mind? Man, never even entered my mind. Mm. Oh, you know, losing that fight. Yeah. Never even entered my mind, mm. even before camp. Even before camp You know, stuff. we just, mm. bro, we were obsessed. Yeah. You know, like, 
just pictured the fight mm. multiple, like even I pictured the fight that much every night. Mm. You know, after I broke my jaw, I had surgery. Yeah, and yeah. Um, cause they put you under and stuff. And when yep. I woke up, like I had memories of the fight, but I thought it was another dream. I thought it was, oh, and then I, I woke up at the it. hospital mm. and I was like, oh, I got to get to my fight, got to get to my fight. <laughs> and then the, the doctor was like, oh, relax, relax. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, you, you've already yeah, fought, you won. You fucking won. And then I sat there and I, I was off my head and then I won all over again. I was like, ah. <laughs> 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 bro, bro, what did it mean to win these, bro? Because obviously, you know. as a, a fucking heavy, bro. Yeah, if, bro like, if you have one chance to hold these, bro. Trust me, bro. Like, you know. As a footy player, you know, you have that dream of holding that trophy mm. or, you know, whatever you do. Mm. For you, you would have been obsessed with this. What was it like to finally achieve that goal mm. that you've been working your whole life for? Yeah. Bro? Uh, Man, it was. Uh, not many people get to do that. Bro. I know. Yeah, I mean? like, for sure, bro. That's crazy, yeah. lad. It's, um, you know, it's like that uh, uh, Adesanya, you know, when he mm. spoke after that fight and he, he said that happiness, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. that's the happiness. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yep. It's we were a just, real thing, hey? Legit, man, like just years and years of dedication, mm. you know, mm. following a dream, mm. executing, and then mm. when it follows through, mm. it's just, you know, it's a great accomplishment. And yeah. it it makes you also realize like, fuck, if I can do this, you know, mm. what else can I do? Yeah, right? You know what they, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. if I can beat this hungry, guy, yeah. you know, who's next? Mm. You know what I mean? So, fuck yeah, that's mad, bro, because, oh, like he, he was saying that, um, like, what is next for you? Like, what, what's, what's something that you want to pursue? other than boxing, you know what I mean? Because right now you're on top of the world, bro. Like fucking every Samoan, at four one, corners of this bro. world, bro. Number like one. love and praise you, bro. Well, what's, what are you looking to like, you know, excel in other than boxing? Man, to be honest, I've still got a lot of work to do in boxing, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Um, man, it, it's just got my full focus. Mm. Yeah, oh, yeah, I've got yeah. no plan Bs right now. Yeah. You know, I've got no other, I've got no other time for anything else. Mm. I, I've got one goal. Yeah. And it's getting all my attention. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I haven't got time for anything else. Mm. Yeah. I live and breathe this yeah. shit. Yeah. You know Fuck, what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. this is what I got to do. Mm. Yeah, but I also feel like, you know, boxing can be a vehicle to get me to where I want to be after it. After you know what I mean? Well. Mm. So, and that's why I take it so serious as well. Yeah, because I do this right. This, mm. this small part of my life. I train hard, I dedicate myself to this. That's sick, yeah. After it, bro, I can do whatever I want. Yeah, you bro. know what I mean? Properly, oh, no, bro. And, that's the, and that's... That's what it means when hard work mm. pays off. Yeah, bro. Yep, that's, that's crazy, bro. like, because you can see that you still have that hunger that you had chasing the bouts mm. with the bouts now. Mm. What would you say is the biggest difference between life chasing these bouts and then life with the bouts? What's the biggest hey, difference? Come on now, J5. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, come on now. Like, proper, bro. Yeah, because to get to your level, bro, mm. you have to be locked in differently. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And a lot of people can learn from. Mm. The way you, you know, mm. the way you chase, the way you think, yep. the way you work. In all areas of life, yeah, bro, in all not areas, just yeah, hard. So yeah, what you, would man. you say is the biggest difference between life chasing the belts and then life with the belts? Mm. Man, you know, for me, life ain't gonna change. Mm. I still wake up, I still get these, I still come here, punch the bags, do mm -hmm. the sparring, go for road runs. I've been doing it since I was a kid. I've been doing it before anyone even seen me doing it. Mm. And now I'm mm -hmm. here, but, and I always knew I was good enough to win these world titles. Yeah. Yeah. But now I got these, now you all know it. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? And yeah. that's and that's where targets, eh? the, the money comes, the the sort of publicity comes, mm. stuff like that come. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. you know, I just got my eyes on the prize, you know. My eyes are on more belts. Yeah. You know, we we, we got my demandatory fight first and then yeah. we go for more belts. That's yeah, mad, bro. bro. I'm also dropping down proper bro, crap. Proper, bro. Bro. <laughs> proper, stuff, proper man, bro. bro. Um so talk us about your, your your family, bro, because fucking we walked in, we guys, we walked in and we were thinking that there's going to be like a fucking staff and everything. We see his little brother pop his head out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's just these two cuts. It's hey, bro. just us. Hey, but you know what I mean? Like, like t tell us how. That's my right yeah, there, bro. Bro. Like, bro. Tell us how that, that whole journey of you guys growing up, because I've, I went for a little stalk as well. I'm also over there. <laughs> He's a boxer too, bro. Like, fuck, yeah. he, looks, he looks proper too. Like, tell us. Do you, do you, have you ever taken him under your wing and like, how much has he learned from you, bro? Bro, me and this guy, man, <laughs> holy. <laughs> bro, man, I've been, with, let's just put it this way. I've been with my missus for like 13 years, 12 yeah. years. Mm. Oh, shit. I've been 12 years, babe, 12 years. Leave him, leave him. 
<laughs> but, hey, I'm with my missus, man. Yeah. Like since I was 16, mm. right? You know. Mm. But I was sharing a room with this guy in a bunk bed till I was 22. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? This yeah. guy's always been my little, you yeah, know, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Like, That's sick. Fuck, he's, he's sleeping above us. <laughs> you know? But he's always been with us. He's always, he lives with me now, you know. But, yeah. but he knows the drill. We, mm -hmm. we get job, the job done. We yeah, work bro. hard. We, mm -hmm. um, you know, he's. Uh, Part of real family. Yeah, yeah that's what yeah, we do. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that's mad, bro. Does it get hard getting caught up in all the glitz and the glamour, of having the bouts? You know what I mean. You know how people usually rock around mm. twenty deep, thirty deep. Bro. Yeah. Would you rather just rock you and your also or all day? Yeah. Yeah. That's, day bro. that's how I am. I, yeah. I'm mm. not this. You know, you, you even see on social media like, mm. but I'm not this. You know, flash superstar. Like, mm. I, like I said, I, I grew up. In boxing, mm -hmm. boxing back in the day was different. Yeah. They were yeah, just yeah, fighters. Yeah. That's it. 100%. You know, if respect was in the ring. That's mm. it. Yeah, yeah. You know, now they're all superstars and glamour dudes and yeah, this yeah. and that. You know, mm. it's all about selling and talking yeah. and stuff yeah, yeah. like that. Mm. Hey, I'm a fighter. Mm. I grew up fighting. Mm. That's what I do. Yeah, was, you know what I mean. Yeah, bro. All this um. Well, we used to get hidings for talking too much. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no, no, you, 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 you know, speak when spoken to. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. you, you know. Oh, but um, fun, like. and now. You know, I'm meant to go to a press conference and just, you know, talk out of your ass. It's, it's yeah, just yeah. different, you know Selling what I mean? And it, and it is sort of changing the sport, mm. you know what I mean? But um, it is what it is. Yeah. I just got to keep working hard, keep 100%. training and yeah. it'll all come. Yeah. Talk, talk about the changing in boxing. What yeah, do you, I was just about to ask that, man. Yeah. What do you think about the social, like the social influences? Yeah. You know, the, the, the YouTube influence boxes, of boxing, yeah. you know, Jake Paul's yeah. a case size. Do you think that's good for boxing? Fuck, who knows? I might fucking box you. Bro, you know, <laughs> bro. Yeah, bro. We keep going, bro. Yeah. Man, it's um, it's good and bad. Mm. You know, there's there's pros and cons with everything. Yeah, you yeah. know, I, I can't say they don't deserve what they mm. get because yeah, I, yeah. I don't know them personally. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I can't personally bag them out. They're doing yeah, well for yeah. themselves. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You know, they're... They might be inspiring other kids to train and get mm, into boxing. Mm, and I feel yeah. like boxing is an awesome sport for yeah. the community and the kids. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? It teaches you discipline. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, it is what it is. But as far as it goes with like selling fights and mm. stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like it's not about how good of a fighter you are anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, how, it's how about you, you know, stuff, yeah, man. who who talks the most shit. Mm. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> like look at that Devonte Davis and you know Garcia yeah, yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, Garcia's lied to us all. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's a fucking <laughs> phony, bro. Yeah, he looks yeah, shook, and he quit. You yeah. know what I mean? But he he he, you know, he acted like he was about it, and then yeah. when it come down to the crunch. Us all, oh, you know what I mean? That's so that's, crazy. <laughs> that's the <laughs> that's the you know world we live in. It's, yep. it, you can fake it until mm. you make it. Yeah, yeah. Actuals, you know what I mean? G, actuals, bro. But um, everyone's a boxer. Real recognized, real, real man. Yeah, 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 hard, bro. Who who was who's the hardest? Like, like who's one person that you remembered fighting? Like, not even in in a professional fight, in like a in like a sparring like fight, and then you just remember this cut because he's like gave you that time, yeah. bro. Like, like you know what I mean? Mm. Like, bro, I still remember this cunt, bro. I don't remember, <laughs> I don't remember his name, bro, but he's straight from Samoa, bro. Yeah. <laughs> He's got demons about the cunt, cunt, bro. <laughs> <laughs> One slap, bro, I didn't talk back ever. <laughs> <laughs> who's it was, it was that cunt for you, bro? Like, gives me, the, like, uh, the best round sort of thing? Is that what you oh, mean? Oh, like, like, you just... That sort of... You were struggling with, and then once you beat them, like you're like, yeah, 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 I'm, yeah. okay, I'm getting better that, now. That person in your in your whole life, bro, your whole career, like, the come ever, up. Um, bro, you know, you know, like, uh, was, and he gave me my last loss in Australia. You know, David Light, he just fought uh, a Coley in um, True. Mm. He, uh, well, he fought. I, I fought him when I was real young. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I was always stepping up the scene. Yeah, he mm. just like. Mm. You know, big braid me because I was only mm. a kid and he was just Fair. humbled me, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. And my whole family was there, bro. <laughs> I was just embarrassed. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. Ah, God. Then I fought him to make the Olympics and that, that was even like a close fight, mm. but I got the decision. So that, yeah, that was yeah, a good yeah, achievement yeah. for me. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 then he comes, he comes with fucking- Nah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 he's a good dude, bro. Yeah, yeah. He's a good dude and- mm. <laughs> Yeah, that's mad, bro. Mm. Where, do, where do you reckon, like how you're saying, so we're like, you know, boxing's all about, you know, talking shit now. Do you think that the way that they're going, boxing's heading into the wrong direction? Oh, man. I don't know. I can only, I can only control what I'm trying to do. Mm. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. I can only sort of try and control my own path and focus yeah. on myself. Mm. You know, everyone else is doing their own thing and if it works, it works. You know, yeah. how, how can you... 
you know, back someone else for trying to get a bag yeah, for their yeah, family, yeah. you know what I mean? It is properly, what it is, but properly. I just got to do it my way, the only way I know how to do it. Mm. That's mad, bro. That's sick, bro. Uh, so, you know, you went to Olympics when you were 16. Talk to us about, like, those moments. A 16-year-old getting caught into the fucking Olympics, London, bro. Hey, London, yeah. London yeah, yeah, Olympics, yeah, yeah. 2012. Yeah. Bro, yeah, like, well, because you were, obviously you're a bit younger, a bit <laughs> more immature. Mm. Like, how, how will the emotions go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm very immature. I'm very immature. <laughs> I had to throw that in there. Uh, now nah. you're here, immature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now tell us through, you know, the thoughts and the feelings that you're going through then at 16, um, bro. Man, to be honest, I, I wish I sort of uh, soaked it up a bit more, you know? Mm. I, I felt like a kid there. True. So I was like, you know, I, I was like, I was 16 surrounded by fully grown men, you yeah. know? So yeah, yeah. it was a... It was a weird experience for me, but, and I, and I really felt like a youngin, so I was like sort of quiet, like, mm, you know, mm. trying to sort of just do what I had to do. But mm. when I went there, it was, uh, it was a crazy experience. Like, oh, like even just seeing people like LeBron James and like Kobe, ah, like just seeing them walk past. And, you know, you see like um, the crap. Usain Bolt, like just walking around yeah, in the village, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. but, um, you know, things like that, I'll, I'll remember. And I, I wish I did sort of soak it up a lot more because, yeah. you know, I wish I walked around a bit more, took mm. photos with, mm. you know, because there was the same Olympics that uh, you sick for that, you know, we were in the oh, same true. weight category, we were yeah. in the same okay. division. Yeah. So like, just things like that. Like, mm. I wish I said up to him, oh, fuck, come for you. But you know, I didn't really realize things like that when I was a kid, mm -hmm. you know, but, um. It's all it's all learning, mm, you know. Yeah, I yeah. got to learn, and I'm 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 lucky. I got to learn that sort of stuff at a young age, because yep. mm. then I got it to develop. Even now, like, um, you know, I'm 27 now, and Dang. You know, I'm I'm <laughs> this guy, <laughs> mate. <he's telling> me, <laughs> you're immature. Wait, what's out of here? <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, even that, like, I've always been the young gun on the scene, and mm. even in like the top 10 and stuff for the world, like, I'm I'm still. Like young compared to all those Fucking boys, nice, so bro. Hard. just got to keep that ball rolling, keep yeah. working hard, and that's it, bro. That's it. Bro, so touching on the Olympics, bro. First of all, like being there is already mm. massive, bro. But you obviously didn't get the result that you wanted. Mm. How was that? And bouncing back from that, you know yeah. what I mean? Because especially losing on a stage that big, bro. You what? What would have affected your mental? How did you cope with that? And how did you move on from that? Mm. Um, you know, you, it, it's all learning. I, I, the, at the time, it crushed me, you know. Mm. Um, I, I was real disappointed and, you know, a lot of people had a lot of faith in me. I mm. felt like I let a lot of people down sort of thing. But, mm. you know, I, I copped it hard, but um, it is what it is, you know. You lose fights. I, I went to the Olympic Games, I, I fought my heart out. You know, I was, I didn't fight exactly how I wanted to fight, but, yeah. you know, I, I did have a hard crack, you know, yeah. and I trained hard, so. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it is what it is, bro. Mm. I know, you yeah. live and you learn, bro. Exactly. Like, yeah. like obviously in that time, like, there was, like, was there obviously a person for you that really, you know, uplifted you during those times, bro? Because, mm. like, you're obviously going through a hard time. Who was that person that really, like, stuck by you during those times and really understood how you were really feeling? Um, I, I didn't have a specific person mm. per se, but mm. you know, my family's real close. Like my, yeah. my brothers and sisters, yeah. Yeah. my mom and dad, like mm. Mm. we were just, we we're very family orientated, you yeah, know what man. I mean? So, yeah. and, and that was just my lifestyle. We mm. go, we fight, mm. you know, we fly back home and mm. mom cooks the best feeds and yeah, you know, man. we're back home and yeah. we get back into training. That's mad, like we don't, we don't dwell on it for too long. Yeah. You know, yeah. we, we focus forward. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Hard, bro. Full Hard, forward, bro. eh? Hard out. Tell, yeah, bro, tell us about that, your, your mum and dad, because your dad's Samoan and your mum's Aussie. Like, the two different cultures, bro. Massive. Yeah. And, like, I don't think people really understand that, like, you know what I mean? It's like yeah. a big bro, culture. It's proper. Like, you know, like, yeah, big, it's yeah. Massive, how was like, that? Like, bro, it's, uh, it's different, man, because, uh, you know, to all the Aussies, you're, you're an islander, yeah, and then yeah, to yeah. the islanders, you're yeah, Aussie, Aussies, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I've I've actually just... I signed the contract. I've actually just become an ambassador for Samo or tourism. So hey, I yeah, thought like that yeah, was yeah, a yeah, huge congrats, accomplishment yeah, for me. And and, and even that, it, it was uh, like, I still get real nervous going mm. over to Samo because yeah, yeah. I know they're going to ask me a lot of Samo questions. <laughs> and, like, you know what I mean? Like it, it's, it, it's, uh, it's pretty sort of like overwhelming for mm, me and yeah, stuff, you know, you, but 
I, I feel like there's a lot of kids like me. Mm, yeah. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of salmons in, in or like just specific islanders in general. Mm. That are out of touch with their culture. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and, it, and they're been, very. It's been yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> but, you, but you feel a bit standoffish. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Getcha, to, uh, getcha. to sort of to reach out yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and or yeah. like try to be you know re in touch oh, with yeah, your yeah. culture because Getcha, you don't bro. want to be laughed at or mm, like yeah, yeah, you yeah. know. So mm. <clears throat> I feel like that's why I <clears throat> was so proud to go over to Samoa and stuff yeah, like that because I feel like if I can do it. Mm. You know, like, oh, bro, you should see, well, I grew up on the Central Coast. Mm. Yeah, like, there's yeah. very, like, very it's not different. many Islanders, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. it's very, like, Aussie. Yeah. Man, yeah. My mates are Aussies, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, like, yeah, hey, yeah. we're at the pubs yeah. on Fridays, <laughs> like, locals, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. like that's where I grew up. Like, yeah, that's yeah. my normal. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And <clears throat> just just having that sort of pathway. So, for me as myself, like, I, I'm a real Aussie type of Samoan mm. yeah. to uh, go over there and do my best and, yeah. Get, try and get back in touch. Yeah. You know, it, it's mm. it's me trying. Mm. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, that's I, it, right? I might yeah. not be the, you know, most Samoan, mm. Samoan, but I'm trying, bro. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, and yeah. it still does, ho- like, mean a lot to me, that, yeah. that heritage. Yeah, you yeah. know, my, my, my grandparents are like mm. king and queen to me. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you put them mad. up here. That's you know, yeah. so the way, the way I look at them with the respect I have for mm. them mm. is my goal in life yeah. for my grandkids and my kids to look at me. That's mm. sick, you know what I mean? That's, yeah. So that's how important they are to me. And that's, yeah. and that's also why I try mm. so hard to get in touch with it yeah. because it feels like it's I'm important, getting closer bro. to them. Yeah, it's you know, so, I feel yeah, like the, um, the World Cup just gone was sort of like the big, Man, I love my culture yeah, yeah, type yeah, of yeah. thing. Hard, yeah. sure. Hard, Everyone yeah. was out there repping their culture. Yeah. Bro, you were just telling us you went to the parades with your yeah. belts, bro. Yeah, how yeah. was that? Like, how, how was being around the parades Fucking and just that love, whole era? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And the same like, type of thing, man. Yeah. Everyone was speaking so much to me. I was like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, Wale, well, like, yeah. 27. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, man. Nah, hard, uh, bro. Uh, <laughs> 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 well, I get it. I totally get it. <laughs> bro, it's proper, bro. It's, it, bro it's, when they come at you asking questions. <laughs> bro, you, it's scary. Yeah, though, like, like, probably, hey, I hate it when, like, my, I hate it when fucking... You know, your parents obviously know you don't know Samoan, but they're full speaking Samoan to you in front of their guests. Like, eh, you already know I don't speak Samoan. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, how, how was that whole fucking parade, bro? Uh, the parade was insane, mm. you know, like. Proper, bro. Man, at the end of the day, I look at myself in the mirror, but I'm still that kid from the Central Coast, you know what I mean? Yeah, Grew yeah, up there. Yeah. yeah. And, and then to go to a parade like that where there's just all these proud Samoans yeah, just. Yeah. And then when I when I rocked up, I pulled the belts out, man. I'm just taking photos, and mm. they're just getting excited. Like mm. it's 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 a crazy feeling yeah. to know someone like me can do something like that. Mm. Yeah, you yeah. know, and, and mm. me doing that makes me think, bro, if I can do it, we can all do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hundred and, and it'll yeah, be bro. like you boys, you know, yeah, like yeah. doing your podcast, like doing all this stuff, like, bro, we're not born special. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I wasn't I, I wasn't hard, born hundred. You know, with with a gift. Yeah. Oh, like we are, we're born with gift, but. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Bro, it hard takes work. hard work yeah, and yeah, discipline it, and dedication. Yeah, and, it, you know, so fuck, if, if I can go out there mm. and get it, bro, we all can. Well, come on, you know, it just it, takes bro. that hard work that, that yeah. you know? Yeah, I appreciate you saying that, bro, because like, like how you're saying with us as well, like people, people consider us lucky. <laughs> no, there ain't luck. no, no luck in this, bro. <laughs> no luck. Fucking we're already, we, bro. Oh, yeah, God, bro. Like, working our fucking asses off, bro. Like, I think that's, that's, like, I'm speaking this from my own personal perspective, you know? Mm. I think that's what we lack in, in our culture sometimes, you know? When someone, another Polynesian gets up, bro, like, we're so too quick to bring them back down, yeah. you know what I mean? And it's good that, like, you know, you, you have both sides, you know, Samoan and Aussie, where, bro, like, your mum probably cut that straight out of your life, you know what I mean? Like, eliminated those thoughts and, like, you know, brought to where you guys are today, bro, because, fuck, even, even your mum being... Aussie, and you're saying she's a third generation boxer. That's fucking crazy. My, my <laughs> mum didn't box, but like my mum's dad. Family, yeah, and yeah. And my mum's brothers, and then, yeah. yeah into See, me, like, so. That's fucking. Just being around it. Yeah. yeah. Being, oh, yeah. That's, that's good shit, mm. bro. Would you say you love boxing still, or was it hard growing up? You know, you, you, you know when you get forced something yeah. for mm. so long, it's, hard to, hard, to, it's yeah. hard to love it. Would you say you still love it, no matter um, what? For sure. Yeah. You know, it's given me. More than you know mm. everything, you mm. know what I mean. It's um, it's a part of my identity. I feel now. Yep. You know what I mean. It's a part of who I am, and mm. 
Boxing's what I do. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. man, there's a lot of things in life. Like, even this podcast, bro, mm. I, I was nervous coming to this podcast yeah, yeah. than I am going and, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. That, yeah. talking on cameras, bro, it's it's, it's new for me. Mm. Like, jumping in the ring, bro, yeah. I've been doing that since I was a kid. Yeah, bro. You know what I mean? So, blowing, bro. It's, it's just what I do. We yeah. go, we spar, yeah. we yeah. do yeah. what we do. Mm. That's mad, we get bro. bashed, we go home. It doesn't matter, <laughs> but it's not on film. Fucking... <laughs> yeah, man, it's it is what it is. Bro. That's mad, bro. Because well, are, are you the are you the first generation to be a champion in your, in your yeah yeah? To, I've taken it a bit further than uh, you yeah. know my family, but that, that, mm. see, you know that like the amount of sacrifices that you know your your grandparents and you know the people above them had to sacrifice, knowing that they couldn't be champions, but still pursued boxing. Mm. You know what I mean? That, you mm. know that's fucking cool. Mm. That's how much they love that sport, bro. Mm. And like, I think I think. That's a message for anyone. If you want to pursue something, sacrifice. If you can't do it yourself, sacrifice yourself to for, for like the future for you know your, your kids right. and your generation stuff. And you know that's that's one message that we try and push on this, bro. Because fuck, you know, we my family comes from nothing. Like we 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 didn't. There's no fucking sports player or superstar and anything. Mm. But my my dad sacrificed himself so yeah. I could do this. You know what I mean? And that's cool to hear that you know that that fucking you're the champion. Of generations of boxing, yeah. bro. That's that's fucking sick. It's crazy, bro. Yeah, I'll drop you there. No, <laughs> 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 nah, man. Bro, man. On the topic of family, bro, you relate to Knox? Yeah, yeah, Knox yeah, and Abu, yeah. yeah. Right? Fuck, yeah, I hate those right. guys, you fucking ass. Just, bro. <laughs> bro, those guys stitch you up on both our bodies. Oh, yeah, bro. Bro. Throw yeah. you under the bars, yeah, lad. Yeah. So it's your turn now. What uh, are you? That's the one you got. <laughs> nah, they're good dudes, man. Hey, yeah. Honestly, it, and I'll fucking just wish them all the best because mm. it's, it's, you see a lot of like pretenders, you know? Mm. You see mm. a lot of people, but you know, they're, they're good dudes. Real. They're real, so, proper real, bro. I'll, I'll back them all the way. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Did, cause Nox, Nox was in your corner, yeah? Bro, <laughs> that was like, that this was is like, the thing. No, yeah. Nox, Nox didn't just start being in my corner because yep. he started rapping. Mm. Mm. Bro, He's been in your corner. Every time I fought in Queensland, bro, like there, even we had one hotel room. I remember the, mm. like my third pro fight, we yep. come fought in Queensland. Um, bro, I was like, I was on the bed, Knox was on the floor. That's mad, My bro. dad was on the bed, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, yeah, yeah. that was back in those days, mm. you know what I mean? Proper support, like, bro. Yeah, yeah like yeah. He, he was just happy to be there. The boy, like all the family was just, you know what I mean? Started from scratch, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yeah, just yeah. the fucking shitty little hotel room where we're mm. all staying in mm. to, you know? Yeah, bro. Well, that's... Where do you want to stay now? To, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah, bro. Like, imagine that, bro. Like. Yeah, he's not, it's like he's that's not all I'll, of a sudden, bro. Yeah, that, yeah, and that's why I always back Knox, you mm, know what I mean? Yeah. And I always, and, and I love him because he, he's, and I'm all, you know, because mm. they've been coming to watch me mm. bef like when the world title was all the way over yeah, there, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know what I mean? Hard, like, bro. if I would have said back then, oh, I'm going to win a world title, people would have mm. laughed, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 but yeah. those boys were still at my fights, you yeah. know? So it's, an, um, it's important to keep those people who see the winner in you before you win mm. around you. You know what I mean? For sure. it, it's important to keep those people who talk life into your dreams, bro, because you know, you, it's, it's, it's a shit failing when you sort of tell someone what you want to do yeah. and they're like, what? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, bro, hard, you know bro. what I mean? Like, it, it, it's important, mm. you know, for you it was Knox, bro. For me, it was this guy, yeah. bro. You know what Knox I mean? Was, bro. Everything I wanted to do, bro. I always told him and he always spoke life into it. And then that made me want to chase that harder, bro. Mm. So it's important, you know, yeah. I always wanted to make sure that you guys oh. know that fucking shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute, Thanks, bro. Nah, nice. Hey, that's good, nah, bro. Hard, that's hard, good. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got nothing. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, fucking, um, on, on the top of that, bro, like uh, chasing your dream, like you were, you were telling us before on, on the break that you played footy. And tell oh, us how yeah. the fuck did you get bro. the training session for the South Sydney Rabbitohs, bro? You're in there, you're in there running the beep test faster than those yeah. guys, bro. bro. How was that? How was that nah, experience? Man, That's that why we beat awesome you in the grand final. <laughs> 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 you can't, you can <laughs> <laughs> You Penrith? Yeah, but it's not hard Penrith, bro. Yeah, I, was, <laughs> Penrith, I was Penrith before Penrith, bro. Yeah. <laughs> how, how, how was that? How was that? Yeah, it was good, man. Um, Again, you know, mm. like a crazy experience to be around, <laughs> you know, NRL boys and stuff yeah. like that. Like, cause I even, even like I keep looking at myself like, man, I'm not like no superstar. Yeah. I'm just, I do mm. try my best yeah, yeah, training yeah. every day, you know? Mm. But um, 
it, it's cool to, mm. to be up there and shows that the hard work pays off yeah. too to be up there with, uh, you know, other elite athletes yeah. and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Because, yeah, yeah. uh, you know, NRL, like NRL players are, you know, the most famous sort of mm. people in, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, hard in, hard in Australia yeah. or New South Wales and Queensland anyway. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it was good, man. Yeah, it's, it's, and like, it's all learning like they're... They were cool dudes. Exposing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. me, fuck it. Yeah. 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 Tell us a real answer. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, because what? They did, they did fucking, like the fitness, you're saying you're, you're, you're keeping up with the fitness. Yeah. I like, get the ball work, you're yeah. fucking shit yeah. up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, the fitness is what I do, bro. Yeah. I train all day, I don't care. Mm. But when they started passing the ball and they were doing like little footwork yeah. drills, yeah. Yeah. Like, like touching that. Chipping over you. Hey, I was just, yeah. fuck, I was look. <laughs> Gumpy ass, like, <laughs> like <laughs> nah, that's mad. That's mad. <laughs> Fucking, bro. Tell, tell, tell us, um, like, what, what did you take from from each culture? So, like, for so your dad's Samoan, your mum's, um, obviously Australian. I, I was emphasizing this question because, like, there's obviously things that you've taken from, you know, each each parent and like their trait, and obviously you realize, you know. How, how the culture is, what have you taken from that and what have you, like, you know, cut out from the two different cultures? If you get what I mean, if that makes sense. Yeah. 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 You know, man, there's, I don't know how to put it in words, you know mm. what I mean? Because when you grow up with it, it just becomes like an everyday sort of mm. a living and then mm. you just sort of, you take the good with the bad with mm. both things. But um, I, I was raised pretty Aussie, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. But it, with my grandparents and my, Sort of family, like we're all pretty sort of Australian yeah, Samoans, yeah. but mm. yeah, I don't know, it's just mm. just Aussie Samoans, mate. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Is that, would you say your um that's where you got your love for fishing, bro? Because your Insta's yeah, like, fishing, like, you're yeah, everywhere, fishing, like, you're proper. Fishing's my thing, hey, yeah. bro. You gotta take us fishing, bro. I've never been fishing before. <laughs> no way, never, never been. been. Never, 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 like, <laughs> 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 yeah, bro, we'll, we'll go one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, be yeah. Sick, like, are you into like the fucking go on a boat, like, or like just yeah, fucking the there. bridge fishing? Type nah, shit? bro, I brought up, hey, straight after my world title fight, as soon as that bank check went in, bro, I was <laughs> boat shopping, bro. Yeah. Bought my own <laughs> fucking <laughs> own flag, man. That's like, man. That's I, sick, I dreamed bro. of that shit, you yeah, know what I mean? Like, legit, only my, like, I, lo I love fishing since I was a kid, you mm, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, I've always loved it for a little escape, you yeah, know what I mean? Like, when I'm fishing, but I'm a, yeah. my mind's just, Would you, use yeah. it? you know, like yeah, yeah. Um, I'm always thinking about like fighting and like mm. boxing oh, or mad. like, am, mad. I, am I doing enough? Like, yeah. oh, I'm a, you know, like e even when I'm in training camps, mm. you know, if I feel like I haven't trained enough in that day, bro, I'll be up all night thinking, fuck, this guy's out working me, bro. Like, you know mm. what I mean? Like, That's crazy, I'll lose bro. sleep over it. Yeah. And um, when I'm fishing, I, all I'm thinking about <laughs> is catching that fish. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Legit, yeah. I could just stare, like I used mm. to beach fish for hours. Like mm. I could just stare at a rod for, like people think I'm weird. Like my yeah. dad, my old man used to full tell me off, be like, no more fucking fishing when you're in <laughs> camp proper, because right? I used to fish till like four in the morning and then go like, because once six. I started fishing, I just wanted to stay there. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? So, yeah, yeah. Like I'll, I'll wait crazy, there all, man. I'll wait there for hours for a while. Yeah. Like yeah. I just love it. So that's, it's, it's, a, it's an escape for me. You yeah, know what I mean? My mind's escape, just man. on that. Yeah. So that's why yeah. I love it so much yeah. too. That's fucking mad. That's yeah. crazy. Cause like a lot of people there, theirs is, you know, I, I like, Mine's fucking drives. <laughs> Mine's fucking drives. I like, guess it sounds. Mine's drives. For driving, driving like, like, like I'll. I don't like like if I'm angry, I won't go out and drive. But like, because I live in the GC, yeah. All our potty meetings are in Ipswich, bro. That long drive is like a what an hour. Hour and a little bit, bro. That I'm Time just fucking just blanking out, bro. I, like no music, no nothing, bro. My missus calling me. Sometimes I miss it, I pick up, I was like, why are you picking up? I was like, oh, I was like, it's on the Bluetooth. I was like, there's no Bluetooth. Like, you know, every single time, I was like, you know, there's, there's no Bluetooth. Like, but you know what I mean? It's cool to see that, like, yeah. fucking yours is you proper escape, fishing, bro. bro. Yeah. What's yeah. yours? Mine would probably be, I like going on walks. Yeah, I'm a walker. Yeah, yeah for, for, for me, I just go for walks. I mm. just, I sort of like to plan and sort of mm. think about the future I want and what I need to get to them mm. type of things. Yeah. So yeah, for me, walking's the same. Yeah. Walking's my fishing. Nice. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Type of Everyone time. needs oh, that escape, bro, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah. Really bro, and bro. I, I, people think that's weird, mm. especially these days. And I like, I want to really emphasize that it's a real thing, bro. Like getting that alone time. Time by yourself. It's, it's a real thing. To bro. reflect and yeah. stuff like that. Mad, yeah. Mad. Us, tell us about, um, 
you went to back Samoa for a sparring session or like was it like a little camp in, in 2019 yeah, yeah. How, um, how was that whole experience there, bro? Well, uh, that sparring yeah, 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 that I put up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, that, was, that was awesome, man. Yeah. Like, and that was before I won the world title, so. That's mad. You know, it wasn't so, uh, now when I go to Samoa, it's pretty hectic, you yeah, know? Yeah, it's like, yeah. But um, yeah, that was back then. And, you know, we were in a training camp, we went over and, yeah. you know, we, we, uh, and we needed some sparring. So we sort of put the word out, like, well, everyone want to move around, just mm. come up. Mm. Like, Went spying the next day. There was a few people there, mate. Right? <laughs> like, yeah, there was heaps of dudes, and um, you know, some of the young kids. But um, yeah, I just give them more two rounds each. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? That's mad. But it, it was it was a good experience, and they mm. and they all, you know, they give it a crack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they all want to earn some yeah, respect yeah, yeah. in yeah. there. So yeah, yeah. It, a lot of people when you spar them, they they're real sort of stand back, they don't mm, want to get hit. Mm. But over there, bro, <laughs> just yeah, they yeah, want yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. They go for the yeah, <laughs> yeah. And because they only knew they had two rounds yeah, when I was there, yeah, they're yeah. like, ah, oh, these are my two <laughs> rounds. Yeah, yeah, so, two but round but, but it, it's good. That's what you yeah, need that yeah, sort yeah, of mentality yeah, yeah. in yeah, the boxing ring. So. Bro, that's, I, I don't even know you, bro, that's sick that you gave them that opportunity, yeah. bro. Because yeah. for you, it would have just been a sparring session. But for them, it would have been a sparring session with you. You know what I mean? With the... The champ, bro. Mm. You know, you weren't the champ then, but they would have seen you as a champ before mm. that, bro. So they were. I bet you they would have been tripping out. Yeah, like, no, it was yeah. good, man. They they were they were like sort of really excited, and yeah, you know, yeah. it was buzzy for them yeah. and stuff. But it was buzzy for me. You yeah. know, it's the like you go there and you think, oh yeah, you want to help these kids, and oh. you know, like I, I went over there and we were teaching heaps of the, you know. Uh, heaps of the kids, like they were bringing busloads of kids. Uh, some of them didn't even speak English, you know what I mean? Mm, and we were like, bad, meant to go over there, teach them how to train, and yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a humbling experience for me, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm over there, I'm, I'm taking home a lot from it, you know what yeah. I mean? Not just mm. those kids. So, yeah. That's, that's sick, bro. Oh, yeah. Because, like, bro, these, these guys are going home and they're remembering that spa for the rest of their lives, bro. Exactly, you know bro. what I mean? Like, exactly. you know, fucking, that was me, bro. I'm like, oh my God, dad, I got punched by a job. Nah, man. So, bro, how would you say you've used your success in boxing mm. to achieve other things in life? Mm. You know what I mean? Because, you know, we've used the platform we've created here yep. to find success in business yeah. and other ways. How would yeah. you say you've used the boxing to grow outside of boxing, mm. if that makes um, sense? You know, I'm still I'm still in my boxing era. Just straight boxing. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. still I'm I'm still like just too focused on what mm. I need to do now. Mm. Mm. Okay. You know, I do have like sort of goals down the future yep. and yep. stuff like that. Like, yeah. Very honest, if get the publicity and do stuff like that, mm. it'd be awesome to have like a little fishing shit. Yeah, that's yeah, like, yeah, have yeah. my own. Cause yeah, that's, yeah. that's 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 me. Mm. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I love it. Mm. So. Yeah. And, and I have fun while I'm doing it, you know, mm -hmm. like me and my mates when we fish. Yeah. Hey, we're talking shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, we're, we're, uh, you know, and, and we're competitive. Or or hey, can, that's, yeah. that's something that I've always wanted to do yeah. is, you know, take guest fishing. Yeah. And yeah. then, um, just we're doing stuff, it, bro. We're bro. doing it, bro. Where the fish? Please let us be the first, bro. <laughs> we need to see it up, bro. We're ready. Fucking on a boat and this country. Yeah, it is getting a bit hot, eh? Yeah. I'm going to knock in that. I'm going to this guy can be a boxer, bro. What's up, bro? <laughs> can you block a dog shot? Guys, <laughs> <laughs> right, so obviously, uh, um, New South Wales proud, eh? Yeah. Loud and proud, like. Oh, day, mate. Yeah, oh. let's roll. <laughs> 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 Fuck it, wait, how's, how's the banter been fucking ever since you moved here, bro? Yeah, yeah, like, I love <laughs> it, eh? Love it, yeah, love it. Wait, oh, man, to be honest, I don't even watch out my sports, you mm. know what I mean? But, but I'm, of a fucking, I'm a fucking, like, I'm a ride or die type yeah. of, yeah. like even with Souths, like I don't watch that much NRL. Yeah. Mm. But Souths, like, yeah, I don't yeah. care, I'm Souths, yeah. you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. same with New South Wales, like, mm. yeah. bro, fuck Queensland, yeah. man. <laughs> Yeah, same, hey, you know, like, hey, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 bro, I love Queensland. Yeah, Queensland's yeah, my yeah, second yeah. home. Best hey, those Jumpers three are. days a year, yeah, fuck yeah. Queensland, yeah, baby. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, and then the day after, hey, all love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Joe says fuck with it, fuck with it. It's the best bear night, though. Bro, yeah. fuck. Oh, I love bro. that, you know what I mean? I love the bear night, you hit the muck around, yeah, have yeah, a laugh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know? It's so funny games. <laughs> nah, mad, bro. Mm. Talk, us, um, talk us through, like, what what a genuine mate kid means to you, bro. Because, mm. like, obviously, you know, when you, when you make it to the bright lights, in some cases, it's, it's hard to find who's real, bro. Like, how, how do you separate who's there for you, who's been there for you, and then who's only there for your name, you know, for Jai Apatai, you know what I mean? Um, with, with my mates, you know, uh, with my training and getting into camps and stuff, bro, it, it sort of filtered them out, you know what I mean? Like the real ones sort of stayed with me because they knew that I was focusing on certain stuff because I didn't have time to go out and hang out all the time. Mm -hmm. So if you stop hanging out with certain people, they sort of fade away, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Like. All, all my real boys back at home, bro, they, they know, mm. you know what I mean? Like, once I'm in camp, I yeah. don't answer my phone. Bro, mm. I'm bad with temptation. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I don't go, I won't go to the pub if I'm in camp mm. and just go and not drink. Mm -hmm. I just don't go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, and my boys know that. They, mm. they know that, oh, you know, he's in camp here. Mm. You know what I mean? They'll mm. ring me. I won't answer just because if they ring me and go, oh, what are you doing? Do you want to come out for dinner yeah, at the yeah. pub, blah, blah, blah. Wait, dinner on Can't, Friday, yeah. get home Monday. Like, yeah, yeah, what the yeah, heck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's how it starts. So, mm. so they knew mm, and, yeah. and not answering those calls sort of filtered it out. And, yeah. and the ones that really had my back and yeah, yeah, yeah. really wanted the best for me, they knew what it was, yeah. you know what I mean? So yeah. that's cool, bro. That, that's the way I sort of picked my, my roommates and stuff. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. That's cool, bro. Because a lot of people fall to that, you know what I mean? And, and, and they feel like if someone does this in themselves, like you said, like it filters them out, like they, they feel sour or they feel some type of way because mm. you're chasing your dream, you know what I mean? But that's cool, bro. Well, that's when cool. I say filter them out, I don't mean like they're bad people or yeah, anything. No, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's, yeah, just, yeah. it's just different paths, yeah. you know? Yeah. I'm heading in a certain direction. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, if you're not gonna help me get there, then yeah. just mm. step aside, yeah. please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got shit to do. Yeah. I've, got, I've got a family to feed. Mm. I've got, yeah. you know, yeah. I've got goals, mm. you know what I mean? And yeah. you gotta fucking stay yeah, on your yeah. goals because yeah. they can slip away. Like, mm. man, they, they they talk about luck and stuff like yeah. that. Like, the you might be a bit lucky if an opportunity comes, mm. but it's your preparation and your discipline that's gonna yeah. be ready for now. that. Yeah. Come on, you know now. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You, you got to be ready for when that opportunity mm, comes, and that's bro. the discipline. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, the yeah. hard work. Yeah, mm. you know, it's like this fight. Mm. You know, I, I, I've been boxing my whole life, <laughs> but if I wasn't ready to fight for that belt at mm. that time. Mm. It's, yeah. it's gone, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So Yeah, fucking nice, bro. It, it gets like that, bro, yeah, bro. When, you're, when you're really obsessed with a goal. Yeah. Uh, well, was it hard for you to sacrifice anything or was it, nah, I want this, whatever needs to be sacrificed gets sacrificed. Mm. Was, was that more so your mental mentality? Yeah, <clears throat> it, it is more, yeah, like, I've had to sacrifice a lot, bro, mm. you know? And I feel like the hardest thing I've had to sacrifice is time away from family. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, even just being back home on the Central Coast, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't get to be there, you know, like my, my little nephew's first Missing footy birthdays game. And, and yeah, like birthdays, that, weddings. Yeah. Like, and mm. like I said, that temptation, you know what I mean? Like, e even with weddings, mm. like weddings are important, they only happen once. Mm. They're meant One to chance. anyways, but yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I mean? Like, <laughs> like weddings, bro, like, like, I can't go to certain people's weddings just mm. because if I go, yeah, well, I could eat shit, I could yeah. get drink a beer, like the temptation's just too much for yeah. me, mm. you know what I mean? So I, I literally have to not go. Yeah. And even that filters out friends or family mm. or, you know what I mean? Because a lot of them are like, oh, you know, I can't believe he didn't come. But yeah. then there's the other half that are like, nah, you know what, he, he's in training. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, he, he has to do what he has to do. Yeah, yeah. Because at the end of the day, bro, uh, uh, when this is all done, mm. I win, we win. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You know, yeah, like bro. even though I'm away from my family, mm. I'm out here chasing this. Mm. Yeah. When I go back home, bro, that's just for us. Yeah, bro. You Give know it what back I mean? This is, yeah, bro. That's my motivation every day. And this is what even drives me yeah. why I don't fucking waste time. Yeah, probably. Because I'm already, I'm already away from my family every day. Mm. You know, my time is already being very valuable to me. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, how can I, how can I leave them? Like, I can't be around them. Mm. And then I'm going to come up here and fuck around. Like, mm. I, it's, not, it's not a part of it. Yeah. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm away from them. So I'm making the sacrifice count. You know, every day's yeah, got to count, bro. That's cool bro. shit, bro. 
It's an everyday thing, bro. You yeah. can, you, you every can hear day, it, bro. Yeah. Every day, every single yeah. day, every day, yeah. you'll yeah. be obsessed. If it with ain't, this shit. if it ain't moving that way, then move it away. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. I go back home and I'm in holiday mode, bro, yeah. that's holiday mode. Yeah, 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 like yeah. chill with my mates. Yeah. So I'm, uh, mm. I want to appear, bro. It is straight work mentality. Mm. You know what I mean? Fuck mm. yeah, bro. I, I love bro, that, bro. I, I relate to that, bro, because my whole family's in New Zealand, bro. It's just me here, bro. It was my. Yeah. Brother, oh my sorry, my sister, sister and, and my dad's, dad's birthday yesterday, yeah. bro. So, hey, shout out to them, bro. Yeah, Happy yeah, birthday. Shout out to my fam, yeah, yeah, yeah. for real, bro. Yeah, but, yeah. like, yeah, just understanding that sacrifice, mm. bro. If you really want to do something, yeah. bro, you sort of got to push through yeah. that you shit do. there, you yeah. know what I mean? I Even that, those bro. hard days where you know you want to be with hard them and days, stuff, bro. you mm. can use that, you can use that that feeling of missing out mm. and you can use that as fuel. Hey, what would you say use that as fuel? 100%. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. It has to yeah. be. Yeah. Yeah. Like how yeah. are we gonna, otherwise we're wasting time. Mm. Right? Like you, yeah, everyone's just gotta ask themselves like, what, what do you wanna do? Mm. Who do you wanna be? Like, mm. yeah. you know what I mean? Like there comes a time where you gotta really, like, is, am I happy doing this? Mm. Do, I, do I want it more? Yeah. Do yeah. I gotta yeah. train harder? Mm. Is this yeah. gonna get me to where I wanna yeah. go? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then you just gotta grind for it mm. and like sort of make that decision. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cause like I said, like back in the day, I, I used to train a lot and do this and that, but mm. I wasn't a hundred and ten percent committed. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And and it was like a scary thing to be a hundred and ten percent committed because mm. it was a scary thing to fall short. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like imagine if I tried and failed and then I'd be like, oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you yeah. hate yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But hey, it's scarier not giving it a hundred percent now. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yeah. imagine imagine like after a fight and I lose and, and I'm like, fuck, I wish I'd done this. Yeah, yeah. I wish I, bro, I don't want to live my life mm. wishing I'd done something else. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, at the end of my career, fuck, I, I'll, imagine saying, I wish I trained harder. Yeah, yeah, hard, like, hard. It's, it's all in my, like, I'm the yeah. one who makes the decision. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm yeah. the one who has to make the sacrifice. Yeah. Fuck, so why am I, now, even, even like all my mates, like they all know, like yeah. they, they're they not going to be in the ring with me when I'm fucking, mm. if I get bashed or, yeah. your jaw's you know, broken. so exactly. Yeah, bro, hard. So bro, my jaw bro. was broken. Uh, man, I couldn't eat for like three and a half months, four months. Uh, it, it wasn't just the broken jaw, win or what, stuff bro, after. it dragged on. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm still got all this stuff in my mouth yeah. trying to straighten my teeth back yeah, out. Like, bro. Yeah. bro, I couldn't eat, honestly, like chew anything. Like it was, mm. it was punishment, yeah. you know, yeah. but it is what it is and yeah. you keep pushing on. But, and even that, like, bro, my missus was down, like in the hospital with me. Like, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's just, it's like been a crazy journey, yeah, bro. Yeah. It's been oh, a crazy bro, journey, bro. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey it's only just, only just starting, yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, like, oh, yes. oh, bro, bro, first time meeting, bro. Like, proper proud of you, bro. Like, that, that's, yeah, a, that's a cool it. thing, bro. Thank like, you. Things, bro. Fucking hell. And that's, yeah, a, that's a lesson bro. for anyone, bro. Like, any kids like, coming up, bro. Like, hear it from this guy now, bro. Like, if you want something, fucking work your ass off 10 times more than you ever mm. think, bro. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Would you say when you looked in the mirror coming up, you seen the champ in yourself, bro? Because... We were watching a video, me mm. and this guy, and mm. it was someone talking about, you have to see the value of yourself, yep. even when Before, it's not, yeah, yeah. Yeah. even when it doesn't seem real. Yep. Were you thinking like a champ? You know, <clears throat> Were you speaking like a champ in your head before it came? Yeah. Or it's a weird, it's a weird question. Cause I don't know, for me, like sometimes, if I'm being completely honest, bro, sometimes I feel like, man, I don't deserve this. Mm. You know what I mean? Ooh. Like, like, really? So, like, really? like I wasn't always like, this, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, oh, yeah. I used to be a little shit back yeah, in the day. Yeah, I was a yeah. liar, I was a thief, I yeah. was a, you know, like, I done dumb shit that I'm not proud of, yeah. you know? And sometimes I feel like, fuck, you know, I don't deserve the accolades, taking mm. photos with kids and this and that, mm. but yeah. that's, that's, and that's also fuel for me now. Yeah. Now that I am getting these photos, bro, people are putting, well, yeah, man. you know, hope in me, get, get excited, go, who am I to, you know, then go back home and mm. like train like a, you know, soft mm. or. Yeah, yeah, yeah start bludgeoning and get mm. comfortable, you know what I yeah, mean? Like, I gotta it. earn this. Yeah, you gotta yeah. earn it every day, mm. you know what I mean? So. That's fucking cool, bro. bro. I'm uh, like, there's only a few people that we've met that have a mindset like you, bro. Yeah, like, bro. That's some the tough most dog shit, yeah, bro. Like, bro. You know what I mean? Mindset is everything, yeah, bro, yeah. for real. But fucking, man, bro, yeah. coming to the end of this, man, fuck, we just, on behalf of Bender Brothers, man, we just wanna say a massive thank bro. you, bro, for coming on. But a lot of people have been asking about you, man, and I was like, fuck, so. Here it is, you can't say <laughs> <laughs> right now, bro, I, like, I, I hope you guys got a lot from this yeah. podcast, man. No, hard, bro. But I got a lot from this podcast, yeah. bro. Yeah. You've, you know, you've sort of inspired me to, 
to switch up the way I'm working, yeah. switch up the way I'm thinking, bro. Yeah. Appreciate it a lot, bro. Yeah. It was a it was an honor to have yeah, you for on, real. bro. Yeah, hey, it's not more about, bro. That's it, bro. Hey, before we end, we just want to give a massive shout out to Wicked Bods, Bods Boxing Bods, Gym bro. in Surface Paradise, man. So if you guys want to get your gym fits, any gym classes, this is the place, man. You might mm. meet this camp, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and shout out to bro. Trojan Studios for it, bro. If you guys need content, if you guys need music, if you guys need any podcasts, hit up Trojan Studios, bro. Fucking hey. Bender Brothers. Out, out baby. Let's out, go. Boy. You thought we forgot to do body shots, man. So, get it, bro. Get it. We gotta get one punch from the champ. Let's go. One, two, three, go. Oh. <laughs>